Okay, so I'm experimenting or practicing or both. I'm experimenting and practicing. Kind of. I can't overemphasize how much you don't want vertical scratches and stuff. Ugh. And you don't want to be disorganized like this. But oh well. You gotta make vertical scratches and stuff sometimes, but you just need to get them out before you hit it, if you can. Sometimes you'll see me get busy and sort of forget that or whatever, and you'll see a considerably worse result than normal. Yeah. I can just keep this and use it like this. They call it a brisket dicer. What's that? It's a brisket dicer. I don't have much of a platform here, but I might just see if I can... This is really sketchy. I shouldn't even do this. It worked. Look at that. I'm not going to be able to move my wrist tomorrow over here from holding this sucker up. This is an extraordinarily disorganized production so far. I mean, I probably shouldn't have mentioned that in case you didn't notice, but I figured that you have noticed. No, this isn't the way I should be doing this. I think I'm doing it this way because I think it's more fun or more interesting or more sketchy. So as a challenger, it's like, Should have just set this up to do every one of these hits in slow mo. Slow mo. Yeah, 
this isn't right. This is just crazy. This makes no sense. See, that just went in there and hinged. And it was thin, and I knew it was thin. And I hit it anyway. darker and darker and this setup is not the kind of thing that I can run in there under cover with in two seconds so one thing to kind of remember when you're working in Georgetown is that Chalky level is not the strongest, best flint in the world. But I mean, it's getting dark. Ah, it started to rain. Dang. I'm hitting this and I'm gone. Bye.